thought another step that we should take is to write to the leadership of the army, to write to them demanding the stoppage of this unlawful arrest, the abductions and the torture of our people, and demanding the release of our people from the units of the army. And so today, our president, Honorable Chagulanyi, wrote a letter to the CDF, the Chief of Defense Forces, David General, Moho General David Mohozi, and uh, another letter, he copied the same actually, to the Minister for Defense. And this is the letter, a copy of it. And uh, in this letter, as a party, as a leadership, we are making demands, like I've said, to see that these people get to be released, to see that uh, justice gets to be served, because some of them have been tortured, have been ill-treated, and all of that. And so we said we shall deliver this demand later to the headquarters of the army. We came, and um, we thought we would be late in. But of course, you know, at the entrance, the uh, funders that are guarding the place uh, told us, look, do you have an appointment? And we said, look, this is a public office. And so we didn't think we necessarily need to have an appointment to come and see a minister, to come and see a CDF. These are public servants, you know, they sit in public offices. And so we should be able to access. So anyhow, later, we, we got information. So they had sent uh, a one lieutenant colonel, Masolo, who received uh, this letter on behalf of the CDF and uh, the Minister for Defence. He has signed acknowledgement because that was important for us. We are hoping that uh, this demand letter will uh, get to the CDF and also get to the Minister for Defence.